Uh, hi, I'm Jack from Melbourne Cruise, and so I'm joined by Hang of Bastard. Uh, how are you, you all doing? Good, Very good. You? Oh, I'm good, man. I'm excited for the show. We're waiting a long time for this. So, um, looking forward to it. So, um, how's the tour gone so far? Really good. Yes, yeah, good time. We've been out. We've been out of um, action for a while. Tom, Tom uh, had a bad injury, so it's our first tour back. And um, yeah, I think it's probably the perfect tour for us to come back with. Like, just, I think what three. Well, two of the shows have been sold out. Yep. I think the other two have been really close to selling out. There's been a lot of people. Um, people seem interested. The reviews have been good for That's us. Good. Merch is doing well. Them little bits and bobs. And um, yeah, I think we're all pretty happy with how things are going. Uh, speaking of tour, you got lost to the stage on Glasgow. How did you get lost? <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> that, oh, God, man, that was, uh, it was a very confusing place. It was. Yeah, it was yeah, yeah. We, we didn't even to, make that up. We didn't even we were make that up. We trying to find our um, our dressing room yeah. and. Uh, it was just typical, like out of spinal taps, you know, that scene. And I was like, we were trying to find it for ages, and I was like, it'd be pretty funny if we just uh, recreated that scene. Well, because some people thought it was staged, and some people, like, people were like, is it genuine? It's that, like... that, that was, yeah, I think the people who knew the reference got it, and the yeah. ones who didn't just thought we were just idiots. So, <laughs> that's fine. Which is also true. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's true, so they're not wrong. Have you ever played Colchester before? No. Man, we played like in the previous sort of like because we you know we had a few lineups. Yeah. And start, like, years and years ago, we played it at like a sort of like a pub. Yeah. What was it called? That pub, the Hope and Anchor or something like that. I think it's been know. closed down since or something. And I'll be honest, like when we played there, I was like, this place ain't really nice. But today we came here. <laughs> and, no, that sounds bad. But today we came here and I've been like walking around and stuff. It's actually a beautiful place. It's really nice. It is. So. Yeah. Uh, how do you feel about playing in a former church? It's awesome. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, cool. It's cool. cool. Yeah. Yeah. Funny. If only we had. If only uh, Jesus was hanging about. And we'd have our banner. <laughs> Hang the basket yeah, underneath it. Down, it would have been fucking, yeah. would have been lovely. But no, it's, it's amazing, and it sounds, it sounds amazing. So we're, yeah, we're pretty excited to play it. Cool. Uh, what's it like supporting COC on their reunion tour? Awesome. Yeah. Great. Yeah. As you said, like the two of the shows been sold out. The rest of them pretty much full capacity, and yeah, yeah just great crowds. And yeah, they're big crowds. Yeah. And we're like the only to like support band, which is kind of cool. So when um, people kind of getting in early and checking us out as well, which mm -hmm. yeah. helps us out. So yeah, yeah great. Yeah. Uh, were you fans of theirs prior to the tour? Or? Yeah, 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 exactly. yeah definitely. Refs. <laughs> rest, rest more rest. What's yeah. your favourite COC song? Uh, what's the one of the Clerk soundtrack? Is it clo <laughs> the Close Your Eyes? Um, well, I, think, I, think, uh, I like you know, that one on the Clerk soundtrack. Any, <laughs> <laughs> it's the whole of the Deliverance album. Like they're not playing the whole album, but they're playing a, like a large section of the songs from that album. And I think, I think there's obviously it's classics. Ninety ninety percent of that album is pretty solid. So when they do play it, yeah, yeah, um, so they're playing, they've got uh, a really good set list today. Oh, that's, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Long Whip, Big America, that's a good one. Yeah, that's I don't know. Just, yeah. I think every yeah, Stonebro. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty classics. good. Actually, what's the one that they're not playing it? It's the In the Arms of God. Yeah, yeah, true. At yeah. the very the last track on oh, the okay. last album. With Don't tell him that. I'm not playing <laughs> that. get annoyed. That's right, that's right. What's your favourite song? Uh, Vote My Bullet. Yeah. And my favourite song is Albatross as well. You can't oh, yeah, be Albatross. Yeah, yeah. Would you tell you if they're going to play them or not? I, no, think, I think they're going to play them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. why, why do you think COC's legacy has come on, has lasted so long? So I was in a club in Essex, a metal club, and I Vote My Bullet came on, and everyone went mental. So. I guess they're a band that kind of they started out as kind of playing one type of music and they've kind of evolved, yeah. evolved and had a few members and that, this and that, and yeah, the crossover stuff and doing the more kind of stoner rocky. Yeah. I think in the, yeah. certainly in like when like with the like blind stuff and that they started to do the more metal thing and they wrote you know good songs yeah. and then like they kind of mastered it in deliverance and there was that kind of early you know that '90s sort of sound. <laughs> So, sorry, uh, green sleeves. Yeah. <laughs> Are they playing that tonight? Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, every time. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> yeah, I think they just hit at a time when um, when there was a, like a good area to kind of uh, to kind of hit, and they went out. They went out Metallica loads, and I just think loads of people checked them out, and cool. I think they just got classic songs. Yeah. So. I think Pepper's like he's got like an aura about him as well, yeah. hasn't he? Like been on tour. Oh, we met him like, outside. I got yeah. a photo it's of him. Like, I was like, like yeah. Yeah. oh, yeah. you were calling Nola my favorite, one of my favorite yeah, albums. You know I mean? yeah. Exactly. So I think a lot of people are really buying into that because it's him back this yeah. time and stuff, and um, oh, so he's, he's just got this cool. aura about him. Do you know what I mean? He's just like cool guy, but he's totally approachable as well. awesome. What was going through your mind when you first met met the guys? I was a little bit like, you know, but. They were, they were totally cool, totally like totally uh, approachable and stuff. So yeah, t slightly starstruck. Yeah, slightly. I mean, yeah. we'd we'd met Pepper before because Sam got tied up with some. Uh, oh, when we were yeah. down, like, yeah, they so met like, Phil. They met Phil and everyone. <laughs> oh and, like, wow! I, was, I had to like trudge like forty minutes to like give my missus her tent. Yeah. She was camping like on the, <laughs> and I got soaking wet, and they'd all met like, like um, Phil yeah, and had a laugh down, and, down and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. I was really. pretty gutted. And I was soaked. Oh yeah, no, it's pretty pretty cool guys. I think Pepper takes his image from Joe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, you're playing also playing Hammerfest in two days. Uh, yeah. Are you excited for that? Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Festival is always good to play. Is like you know, a whole bunch of bands, different genres and stuff. And, mm. Yeah, it's always cool. 
we're playing and the uh, like Stoner stage. So, um, Canada Mass and Orange Goblin after us. So, I think we're just going to play, grab a few light beers, maybe Babies. have a change of clothes, and just go and watch Orange Goblin, chill out, have a drink with them, then watch Canada Mass, and just go and get some more drinks. You know what I mean? Oh, that's quality. Uh, straight after Hammerfest, you're on a headline tour. What can we expect from this tour? Longest head. Us. Yeah. Yeah. Expect us. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, we got, um, we're um, taking Desert Storm with us as well, who are really fucking good live. Yeah, we're excited to out them. We're excited to head them out. Um, and yeah, no, we're playing some songs. Well, we're playing, all the songs are from Sex in the Seventh Circle. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's the longest set I think we've ever done as yeah. a band. So I think we're going to be pretty shattered after yeah. every show. Cause it, you know, everything sort of goes into that show, mm. into that performance. Um, but yeah, like there's a few that we haven't played before, which we, we kind of tested out with the COC shows. Okay. But yeah, no, we're looking forward to it. Yeah, oh, we'll see long, how it goes. set, yeah. a bit more bastard for your buck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's about it, really. yeah it's uh, what do you like about Desert Storm? Why do you why did you pick them for the tour? <laughs> oh, we played like a, well, it's a long long story short. We've been playing them in Oxford a few years ago. Really cool guys. Really really into them. And uh, we were kind of not that good on on the night. Well, we were terrible. That. We were terrible. <laughs> so we, one, we really wanted to like make up for it. But the, well, no, we just we we, yeah. we stopped recording them straight away. You know, they're really good dudes yeah. and they absolutely blew us off stage, didn't they? Really. So we want to try. Tom and, uh, works we want to close try with them. Tom does a label, and I think he works That's close it. with Desert Storm anyway. And yeah, I think I think it was just out. easy to get going. Like it always helps if mm. like, we all know them. Or, yeah, you know. good. I think that's a pretty good combination there. They're, they're good lads. It's it's cool. it, they work well with us, yeah, like, personally yeah. and musically. Yeah, it's just, it's all, just it all, all fits, fits right. Yeah, so it should, should be a good laugh. Because uh, on your this tour, you're only playing stuff from Sex in the Seventh Circle. On your headline tour, will you be playing any of the older stuff like River's Edge at all? Or? No, 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 it won't be nice. No. It's Jim. pretty much all off the new album now. Because of changes and whatnot, oh, yeah. we may, we're, just, uh, we're just sort of moving on. Through, like, the, so, the, the it's like the new era, now. so to speak. Yeah. So you're not going to play any of the old stuff again? Or? No. no, we won't be, no. We did like a discography of like everything previously. Was that Holy War? Yeah, yeah, yeah we put it out on yeah. that. Yeah, man, that's like everything. That was a bit of like a bookend to that sort of chapter, if you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. And now it's just sort of moving forward I mean, with the new stuff. The only stuff. thing that might be is that the reprised riff. Like oh, there's no, there's yeah, there's little bits here and there. No, mainly there's no, references. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's only if I'm do like if I've got a bass section. Yeah, exactly, I just kind of yeah, ring yeah. out. I might drop a like a lick from an older song, but it's it, no, it's nothing. We're completely different guys now, so it's yeah, I'm trying to push on with that. Yeah, the reception to the album's been incredible, and it is a good album. So, are you pleased with the album? Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah pretty, pretty much. Good. Yeah, it's the first one we've done together in this sort of uh, incarn- in- incarnation of the band. Is that the right words? Yeah, 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 that'll do. Yeah. And um. And yeah, we're pretty happy. We've got a good like writing partnership struck up with it and stuff mm-hmm. like that. But I think the next one we're going to be more. That was like the sort of not the yeah. tester, but you know that was the first Finding one. Your I think, feet. Yeah, yeah, because we really yeah. did start to chill I, musically, and now I think we're going to go forward. and It's going to be more interesting stuff put in there on the next one. So me and Sam have spoke. I think we can. There's certain like it's room for improvement as songwriters. There's a few things you look back on and go, fuck, right, could have done that, could have done this. Yeah. But people seem to have liked it. It's obviously, you know, it's um, not to everyone's taste. But we understand that. Yeah. But yeah. people seem to be digging it. Um, mm-hmm. It's almost sold out worldwide now with the vinyl, which is great to oh, hear. Like, yeah. Which is like, fucking, we got the last set of vinyl with us. And that, that was quite a surprise. <coughs> when Tom mentioned it earlier. And I was like, I fucking hell, I did not expect that. Um, but yeah, I think next time around, I think there'll certainly be some um, tricks up our sleeve. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm excited. But as a whole, yeah, we're very proud of it. So <laughs> yeah. Do you worry do you've alienated some of your older fans at all by moving on, so to speak? Or personally, I, I think that has happened. Yeah. I wouldn't say we're necessarily worried about it. Oh. We wrote the album we wanted to write. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think there was a bit of a little split down there, but I think, um, and it's totally fair enough, completely understandable, yeah. because it is a very big contrast. Yeah, you know, it's more so sludgy, it's quite, doobie yeah, than the other sludgy, yeah. kind of hardcore. Yeah, we always have to, used to have that like sort of peppered in there, but we, but then we just sort of went a bit more straight ahead with the style. And obviously, people are going to be a little bit, they're, they're totally entitled to it as well. We're not going to be like, oh, you know, we don't. Yeah, I think, we can't, time, we I think we've picked up a whole new bunch of fans as well by yeah. playing yeah, different festivals in the last couple of years. So yeah, you'd say you're more satisfied playing this stuff than the old stuff, though. Yeah, we love it. I mean, with the members that have gone now, it's sort of more, it's just all, all of our styles has kind of gone down that one road of the more it's sort of sludgy. Natural. Yeah, exactly. So we just come up, yeah. did what comes I think natural. Some people taste. had to go, from, you know, had people had to go, had to leave the band for it to get to where it is now. Okay. And it's mainly like, just we all listen to metal, yeah, well, yeah. like, it's, it's like we had to lose those members who were into that for this to happen. And I think for me, Six and Seven Circle is like, is like the first album for me for Hang the Bastard. Okay. So I think the next thing is just going to be what, you know, once we get really into it, I believe the next album is going to be a massive step up. Uh, so um, my favourite song on the album is um, Sweet Mother. What's the song about? 
<laughs> oh. Interesting. I never like answering these questions. Okay. I like the mistake. Okay. Because <laughs> I can't find the lyrics for most of your stuff online. Is that like you live? Is it? Actually, <laughs> yeah. I like it's all part of my fun. You won't be able to understand it either. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, he could say, no, he, he could say different lyrics precise. every night, and I, I wouldn't know. Yeah. Him. I sometimes tell people things, and it's never the right thing. <laughs> and it's a little game Keep I play to amuse myself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's, okay. a, there's, a, there's a sort of there's a loose kind of concept on the, on the whole album and stuff that me and Tom sort of work together with, like chatting about stuff. But ultimately. Yeah, the lyrics are quite ambiguous, aren't they? And then, you know, open for interpretation, like any lyrics should be, I think. They're good. But, um, but then, obviously, it's got something personal to Tom that he obviously wants to keep you guessing. With, so okay. That's fair enough. So, <laughs> would you say the next album is going to be similar to Sex or Seventh Circle? It'll be like an evolution, so to speak. I'd like to think there would be evolution. progress. I think every yeah. band should progress. And But I, I don't think we're all of a sudden going, yeah, we're going to do this and then do that. Like, we're not going to do what... And Justice for All was to the black album. The <laughs> black album was to load. Yeah, I don't okay. think we'll do that, but I think there's <laughs> we will become better songwriters, and I think there'll be a better chemistry. There's a lot of you know, I'll try this, try that, and not too sure. I think next time around, I think there will be. Um, will be to be honest, unit. like even before like this kind of re um, reincarnation of the band kind of did Sex and Seven Circle. I think before that, we always used to get just get in the studio, and it would used to be quite raw. We just kind of. Not overly plan it, not overly think it, not you know think too much about it. No. Just go in and start writing some riffs and you know see what comes out. Yeah. So I think it'll be pretty much the same as time. Also, uh, also, so you recently played also festival Epa Fest, was it called? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah, 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 yeah. great. Yeah. yeah, you played that in Belgium with Crowbar. How did that go? It was good, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, yeah. Yeah. It was our yeah, first really show really in what good. would have been in five months. Yeah, five months. months. Oh. So certainly in Europe, in what yeah. two, three years. And I'd not practiced yeah. nah. either because <laughs> I lost my voice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah we so. did well though. It was cool. Crowbar, were unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. 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 Yeah, yeah. We were watching from the side of the stage and we were taking photos at the time and like. He's jumping in photos as well. Can you give us some like look? Like, oh shit, we're we'll doing the, uh, the, 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 no. the the camera a little bit. It was there was a lot of nerves. Though, so I was like, look, Tom had yeah. a real bad Ooh. fucking injury, like, oh, and it was just like to come back and be like fucking hell. And there was a lot of people watching us. Big room, big venue, and um, yeah, we done. I've really tough for how we done. Yeah, I don't think it could have gone better. Yeah. Really, like it was just a strong show. We just watched Crowbar and, like absolutely <laughs> fucking kill it. it yeah. was, they were right. insane. Did you get a meet Crowbar at all? Yeah, yeah. 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 Played like, a few yeah. times and hung out and uh, and whatnot. So yeah, yeah they got pretty chilled out. Guys. Mm. How important are Crowbar and Band to say modern sludge and doom music? Yeah, yeah, pretty, pretty up yeah. there, man. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. And when we like, started out, like, I heard Planet Collide. I remember sitting yeah. there and I was like, holy yeah. shit, that's yeah. like a massive influence on us at least. Like, I can't really speak for much many other people, but wasn't it Mists of Albion when we were writing that? There was one point when you went, that could be our. Planets Planets collide. Collide. Well, hang on, yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm not as but good as I wouldn't want to. No, 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 no way. Yeah, no, but like, com comparatively, yeah. Yeah, yeah that maybe. sort of slow kind of just yeah. slow, change slow with a sort of powerful melodic man's oh, yeah. pain jams, yeah. I mean, like, it's kind of like that. Yeah, no, totally. It's big, big influence. Yeah. And a new album, we've been listening to it so much. Symmetry and Black, Black, Black yeah, Asphalt. Yeah, yeah, good album. They just got it right, ain't they? Yeah, all his vocals got a real man's pain sort of vibe to it. just like, oh. And there's a bit of harmony on the new album. Like, he sings, does harmonies. Yeah, yeah. He's got Kirk. Good good voice. Voice. Yeah, he's fucking good. Definitely, man. yeah. Yeah, because I see a bit of crowbar on your music, you know, like in Cemetery Angels and Walk My Drive, you the end pounding, like the end, like yes, the pounding. I see you've got to bring it home at the end of yeah. that real dramatic kind of like, yeah. yeah, absolutely, yeah, massive influence on us, no doubt. Uh, speaking about the new music, can we see an estimate for the new album, or was it just see how it goes? Will it be next year or end Honestly, of Honestly, not sure at the moment. Uh, probably not, no, definitely not this year, probably probably next year, most probably. We've got year. a lot of um, shows and stuff to make up for, because we lost a lot oh, of yeah. time, time. Yeah. so we're having to try and make up bits and bobs and get the album out. Oh, yeah. I mean, Sex only came out in September, so we can't okay. go. Still got push a good summer yeah. to just kind of tour it a bit more and see what happens in the autumn time. Then yeah. the I think when the time's right, we'll all know that we need right. to start. Oh, and uh, you got any more tours coming up after this one tour? Nothing or? yet planned. We've got some festivals over the summer, uh, yeah. a couple of festivals in Germany at the end of May. Yeah. There's yeah. some stuff we can't announce. Desert, Desert, oh, Desert Fest yeah. coming up, Desert Storm, Desert Fest coming up at uh, the end of April. Yeah, yeah that's really <laughs> we've got yeah, quite a lot. Going, there's, there's going to be quite. A, it's going to be busy yeah. for us. As summer approaches, it will maybe be more about the festivals. But then, yeah, we'll probably have some stuff planned for after that and whatnot. So. What are you looking forward to the most about Desert Fest? Playing it for, for once. Because yeah. that's going to be wicked. Because we've had some of the best times. It's a, great, it's a great festival. The Black Heart. Watching Sleep is going to be well, amazing. Good venue. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's a great venue. venue. Yeah, we haven't played there yet. That's, that's going to be a first. And I hope you know. I hope it's. Um, we get a good turnout, you know, it's yeah. just a sweaty day. <laughs> <laughs> We've been told our set don't clash with sleep. Yeah, oh, that's good. 
but if it does, then I will be watching. Basically, I'm, yeah. I'm going for a Sunday just to sleep, yeah. you know. It's the I'll be in a lot of trouble. <laughs> Missing work yeah, for sleep yeah, yeah. on Sunday. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not watching sleep. Yeah, yeah, that'll do. Yeah. But how's so. your different to Britain in terms of like touring and shows? Touring, you get looked after about maybe. 300 times better, I think. Yeah. Every band I've interviewed has said yeah. that. Why yeah. do you, you think just get, You just get like, kind of, like beers, food, everything, they make sure you sort it out. That's good. Yeah, you're lucky not if you get like, we're a, like or ever No, no not at all, no. Just against us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Very, yeah, and very friendly and nice. And they, yeah. can't, they can't do enough of you, basically. Yeah. yeah. I think there's a lot more money in support. Well, there's like, in government funding as well. Yeah, that's right, in France. In terms of promoters and stuff, like I think they can afford to, is a lot of it. Sorry, very unprofessional. That's right. Who so, yeah. has their phone on now? <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, final question because he's wearing a down, you're wearing a down shirt, he's wearing a Pantera shirt, down or Pantera? The other question. Staying out of this one. <laughs> um, Pantera, but down. down Pantera. Sorry. Down or Pantera? What? What's your favorite? Which other two? Which is your preferred choice? <laughs> A bit hard. I yeah, would say yeah. I would say Pantera, but I would say Nola is as good as any Pantera. Well, well Dan would be. Right, that, yeah, that's fair. Yeah. yeah. Is that the question? Yeah. There you go. Think you, yeah. Okay. Well, I'd say Pantera, but I'd, for me, I'd say Nola is as good as. It's one of the best albums of all time. I'm going to yeah. go Simon's because yeah. it was an amazing dodge. It was, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. impressed by that. Yeah. 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 I thought you gave me an answer. It was quick. The next question is going to be pretty terrible. Well, uh, thanks very much for your time. I look forward to the show. I wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Cheers. 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 Cheers.